Good afternoon, everybody. Um, today is an update in relation to the disappearance and suspected murder of Mr. Michael Modesti and conducted general appeal with some CCT footage. As you are aware, his disappearance and suspected murder was declared a major crime on the 23rd of May this year. He was last seen alive on Sunday evening, the 8th of May, when he spoke with his partner. First piece of footage we wish to show you today is Mr Modesti returning from an international flight from Thailand, arriving at our lady airport. The footage shows Mr Modesti leaving the airport. He is wearing a distinctive light coloured top with the word Lee, L double E, embossed across the front of it. We believe that's the same top Mr Modesti was wearing when he went missing. We also wish to update you on some times. We now believe Mr Modesti left his home sometime between 8am and 10.30am on Monday the 9th. This is several hours later than we previously um, put out in the media and the update's obviously because we're now in possession of more recent information. The second piece of CCT footage that we're wishing to utilise is from a home CCTV system. This shows a blue Magna sedan, similar to Mr Modesti's, travelling northeast along Aruna Avenue, West Croydon, at about 9.20am on Monday morning. It is possible this is Mr Modesti's vehicle. However, to help the investigation, we need to exclude the possibility it is another member of the public's vehicle. So appealing to any member of the public who has a similar vehicle who may have driven along Aruna Avenue on Monday the 9th of May to please contact Crime Stoppers. But as I said, it is certainly possible that vehicle is Mr Modesti's. As you're aware, Mr Modesti's vehicle was found abandoned in Chanel Avenue, West Croydon, on the 11th of May, Wednesday the 11th of May. We're conducting a general appeal for anybody who saw that vehicle parked from Monday morning the 9th through to the 11th. What we do know from viewing CCT footage from Transport Company, the vehicle was not entered out at 9.30am that Monday morning. Separately, we have footage which we will show from a bus travelling towards the port on Torrance Road that the vehicle is parked in Chanel Avenue at 10.34, just near bus stop 19. The bus stops, a lady steps off that bus, walks down Chanel, directly past Mr Bissy's vehicle, and we're seeking to identify who that person is. We we'll ask her to contact Crime Stoppers if she um, identifies who herself in the CCT footage. So we have the three CCTV footage. We have the Mr. Modesti um, exiting the airport on the 6th of May. We have the um, vehicle travelling along Aruna Avenue to try and identify that person, and we have the bus footage which shows Mr. Modesti's vehicle in Chanel with a second appeal motion that footage of who the lady is who stepped off that bus at bus stop 19. It was actually bus N254. Finally, as we've been able to narrow down the time, Mr um, Modesti um, left home, and look at our, our suspicions are, and quite strong suspicions, that he's, he's either met someone at home, then left with them, or he's gone to meet somebody. What we don't know is, is it Mr Modesti dumping the car in Chanel? Is he with someone else, or is someone else dumping the car in Chanel? And that's obviously the focus of the investigation. Lastly, look, it's just a general appeal to anybody who was driving between Willsmore Street, Beverly, and Chanel Avenue, West Croydon, on Monday morning between 8 and 10, who has dash cam footage, and I believe may assist us or be relevant to the investigation you know, we are seeing contact crime stoppers. Any questions? How do you know that he was wearing that grey jumper? The fact that he 
matter of someone seeing him or would he just not find it? Well, I think the, the fact that we haven't narrowed it. Yeah. Yeah. How have you narrowed down that window where you now, you now think he left if you don't know for sure that, that was his car being driven on the Monday morning? Well, what we need to know is that the vehicle wasn't there at 9.30. It's there at 10.34. We have other information which we believe may not be totally correct. So we've just tried to narrow it right down to that time frame. In regards to the CCTV footage, he's leaving the airport, I think. Um, is it unusual that he had no luggage or anything with him? And what do you think he was in Thailand for? Oh, look, um, it is unusual, but I believe that is explained. I believe his luggage um, was apparently put on to another flight and it was transported to him later. So that, that is, is um, ex explained. Um, as you're aware, we believe he was on in Thailand for business reasons. We haven't been explored that too, too much further. What's the significance of, of that? Did you know of him leaving the airport? What do you hope that? Well, the significance of it is, is we're showing Mr Modesti, one of the last pieces of footage of him, prior to his disappearance, wearing the clothes, in particular the top, with the word Lee embossed, which he, he, we believe he was most likely wearing when he went to Missing. So the airline able to seize his phone records and see who he was in contact with that morning? Look, that's obviously a line of inquiry we, we pursue, and that's what we, we are doing and have been doing. So his luggage, that was lost by the airline, and he had got it back by the time he went missing? Yes, my understanding is it had been transported to him the next day. I believe it may have gone to another country. Do you have any suspects in this matter yet? Look, at this point, we have no firm suspects. Look, this is an open investigation. We're doing everything required. We've thrown a number of resources at it. Um, we seek information from the public, and we will continue to pursue and do everything we need to do to try and solve this. Obviously, any piece of information is vital to investigation. We'll assess it, and hopefully that will lead to um, you know, us being able to take you know, positive action and have a bit of a breakthrough in relation to the matter.